Warning! The following presentation is not a tutorial. It is a documentary of me following a tutorial, which will be linked in the description. Thank you. About ten years ago, I bought one of these. Now, this was made by a woman up in uh, Massachusetts who's made an entire business out of selling notebooks like this. All variations, all hosts. I mean, they're fine for what they are. The covers are made out of laminated paper, and the spiral is plastic, like something you'd find on a, a textbook. But I think we can do better. And that's exactly what the Blue's Clues fandom did. Uh, there's a guy who goes by Domus Engine on Twitter who runs another Twitter called Backstage at Blue's Clues. It's like a little trivia account for what goes on Backstage at Blue's Clues. But he has uh, taken the time to perfect a one-on-one -on -one replica of the Handy Dandy Notebook using the same materials the prop makers of the show used. The covers are made out of wood and the spirals made out of metal. Can you believe it? He put out a tutorial recently on how to build one and basically launched a revolution of notebooks. And I'm gonna hop on that. I already have the materials. Let's go. Hello again. Here's what I accomplished today. Get a good look at that. This is a purple crayon. It's my test crayon. It doesn't have the the shiny finish that's achieved by packing tape. Basically what I did for this is I made the pattern in Illustrator. Then I imported an image of a jumbo crayon. Jumbo crayon. For size reference. Then I printed it out onto sticker paper. And made wrappers. And I just tore off the old wrapper and put this on. Simple. My dad handled the wood cutting. Initially I got a 12x12 board and he cut it down to four pieces of 4x4. Enough for two notebooks. After sanding down the sides and corners, I got this template made by Discord user Jart Studios and punched out the holes and started marking where I'm going to drill. My notebook is going to have 9mm holes. That's what was seen in late season 3 and season 4. The same my first rodeo. Yeah, it is. Alright, uh... Here we are! A naked notebook with... One page! Let's see how we got to this point. Remember when I said I had enough pieces to make two notebooks? Well... Let's just say my first attempt didn't go as planned. But we did get there eventually. Some of the wood got stripped on one of the pieces during the drilling process, so I filled it in with filler paste, as you can see there in the background. And a couple coats of black spray paint later, I got these. Kinda sloppy, but hey, it was gonna be covered up by stickers later. Speaking of which, printing out the cover stickers proved to be a real Goldilocks scenario. My first attempt at printing them, they came out dark green, almost forest green, which was close to what the British host Kevin used, but that's not what I was going for. Second attempt was better, but still too dark. It wasn't until I made the green the same shade of green as the light stripe on the crayon wrapper that I got a correct looking color. Now onto the spiral. Boy, let me tell you about the spiral. The spiral you saw on camera earlier that's actually my second attempt at a spiral. My first spiral was destroyed by my own hubris when I tried and failed to add a crayon catcher. Two days later, with the leftover wire, I got something like this. Of course, there's room to improve. This, this part's a bit long, and the catcher still needs to be adjusted. I keep making it into a circle, even though it's supposed to be a, a U-shape. I thought it was a U-shape. Uh, I guess it could be more Yui, I guess. Yui. Uh. Yeah. After that, yeah, I cut off that long piece, then took it outside to be primed. 
and painted. I also clear coated it, but not without injuring my arm from shaking the can too vigorously. Youch. <laughs> This footage you're looking at right now, I had to speed it up by a thousand percent. This stuff is like surgery, man, let me tell you. Here I am peeling the stickers, applying them to the covers, and flattening them out with a bus pass. Well, it's finished. But before I show you, I think it's only appropriate I put on some more, uh, fitting attire, let's say. Well, this isn't right at all. Ugh. Let's try it again. <sighs> if only. There we go. Well, now that I'm wearing the appropriate clothes, I think it's only appropriate that I show you my handy dandy... Notebook! Notebook! Ah, there it is. The handy dandy notebook. I ended up making 15 pages, which is less than what's on the actual show, but one more than what the toy had. Of course, it's far from perfect. Like, these two rungs on the spiral are a bit too close together, and, uh, the sticker peels right there, and the pages are far from uniform. But hey, not bad for my first attempt at building one of these. Yeah, here's a look at the back. And the crayon. I finally got around to putting packing tape on it. If I ever make another one of these, which I do plan on doing, I think I'd use actual Avery shipping labels for the stickers. I just use the first result for sticker paper on Amazon. Well now that you've seen my notebook up close and personal, only thing left to do is draw something in it. But not just any old thing, no. I need to draw one of Blue's Clues. But which one? There's been so many. You know, my mom used to tell me about the very first thing I drew ever was a cow. It was in the sand on a beach. And it. she used to remark how impressed she was that I drew the udders. And that, and that was because of Blue's Clues. The Steve or whoever did the drawing stunts for Steve in season one, drew the udders, and that registered in my brain. It's like, okay, cows have udders. I'm going to draw that. In other words, I'm going to draw a cow. A cow. Okay, we got the cow's head. A big circle for the body. Lines for legs and tail, the hooves, an udder, and there's a cow! Huh. Neat. I'll admit, building this notebook was challenging. But was it worth it? Yeah, I'd say so. If you're still stuck indoors, I'd say this is the perfect DIY activity, given you have the right tools. Speaking of which, if you want to build one of these yourself, there's a link in the description for the tutorial Domus made. He worked real hard on it, and I'm sure he'd appreciate the eyeballs. Also, there's a backstage at Blue's Clues Patreon that I think you should check out. As for me, I'm about to head out. Not before I thank you for watching. Now it's time for so long. But we'll sing just one more song. Thanks for watching this vid. I'm glad you did. You know with me and you and my 
dog blue We can do anything that we want to do Bye, see you later Have a safe drive could be. Spoon, that's me. That's where I live. Uh.